Hi guys, today's video is going to be titled uh, English Teaching in the Philippines and in that we're going to explore um, some of the well myth and uh, about English teaching as such and uh, also let's talk about the, 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 the quality of the English teaching okay now what what is English teaching really right I mean you know we obviously have like different can we call them dialects if you like uh, you know different tones coming from both uh, you know Britain United Kingdom you know uh, America and and um, and Australia and of course New Zealand and Canada and other places of the world they all have their their own little sort of like distinctive tone coming to the actual teaching okay so but let's let's look at why we, we always should start with why do we want to learn English in the first place right what is it that that we are remember English is a skill it's a tool just like uh, you know you require a hammer and you use the hammer to hit some nails in or something similar to that right so we're learning this English for a reason, okay. The reason can be just uh, when we travel as a tourist, you know, we, we like to be able to make people understand where we, where we want to go and what we want to do. Or you can have some sort of conversation with people about, you know, different things, right? Or maybe, you know, you are more serious about it, you, you need it for your study, Um. You know, like, uh, for instance, I was teaching ILTS uh, in uh, China. So for Chinese students who wanted to come to to Australia to, um, you know, to study, uh, they have to have that, um, that test uh, that says that they have a proficiency in speaking the English language. And um, that was one of the... The, the things that I was teaching there too. And, um, you know, some of that is the general ex the general test is not too bad. You know, you, you're obviously going to make yourself understood. You're going to be able to read and write and you're going to be able to to um, to speak uh, in, a, in a coherent manner. That means in a way that that people can understand what you're saying. <laughs> OK, now. <laughs> Uh, and it's unfair for me to be laughing. But remember, I myself had to learn English. I come from Denmark in uh, in Europe. And uh, of course, uh, I spoke Danish. So I have been through, uh, which I'm very happy for, been through the same thing about learning, you know, English. And, and I understand the process of actually learning and what that helps you learn it fast, right? And also what helps you separate it from your local language. As, as I mentioned, my local language is Danish. And uh, when I learned English, it took me a while before I could sort of separate the two. But I found out what and how that was possible. So, okay. Now, a third, third thing is that the English is used maybe for, uh, you know, your work. Maybe you have a vocational uh, uh, job um, and... Um, like maybe you're an engineer or maybe you uh, do some construction or something similar to that. And uh, in, in, in that work, you need to be able to communicate in an English or maybe read English, you know, repair manuals or whatever it may be. So maybe for your work, maybe you work in a hotel and you need to talk to the, 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 the customers coming into the hotel, right? The guests, yeah? Uh, in restaurants as well, of course, and there's many, many ways. So, you know, English for work. Um, now, there's also, of course, uh, for for perhaps the arts, you know, for reading and writing. Um, you know, maybe you are into reading, uh, you know, writing a book or or these sorts of things. And uh, maybe you are a translator, and you you need to to translate. Um, you know the the, the spoken English uh, very well uh, online or or in another fashion. So there's a lot of reason to learn it. But the main thing that we should focus on is you know what why are, are we doing it? You know why why do you want to learn English? You know and you know what are you focusing on? How do you hope to be able to use it? Because then we we got somewhere we can start from and we can say okay. 
this is where we're going to start from. Then we look at where are you now? You know, what's your current, you know, uh, skill level right this very moment? Are you a one, two, three, or four, um, or whatever? And then we start from where you are, and we say, okay, well, here you are. Now this is what you need. And then we get cracking on, on teaching that, okay? Now, unlike most other people, uh, I always prefer to actually start with the spoken, the oral uh, English, because in my book, it is much more valuable that you are able to communicate with someone than being able to spell grammar, okay? So, and also when you look at it, in a natural way, for instance, in an English-speaking country, a baby don't know anything about text or anything. That's what they learn in school. They learn how to spell in school. They learn their A, B, Z in school, right? Yeah? The first thing they hear is sound. So I always concentrate about the sounds. And that's why I have such a success in getting people to speak really, really fast, to communicate at a local level and speak uh, and make conversation really fast. Because I concentrate on the sounds, I, c I concentrate on the conversation. And, and that is the key to learning. Just like a little baby learns, the first thing they probably say is mama or papa or dad or something like that, because they, they, they hear it all the time, right? And then, you know, you, you, you suddenly, you know, they hear, they listen, they listen, they listen, and then suddenly it comes out of their mouth, right? And that's when you go, wow, look at this, little Jimmy said something, right? Yeah. Um, and exactly like that, when you first start learning English, you won't be able to hear, you know, the English that people are speaking. You're just listening in listening mode only. Uh, you won't be able to understand what they say on TV or radio. And, um, you know, even in the public places like trains and, and, and these sort of places, you won't be able to hear what, what the English language. But it, as you learn, suddenly, you know, like you have sort of like a, a wow moment and, <laughs> and you start to sort of your brain has now heard these sounds so many times and now it's starting making sense to you and it comes to you. And that's a, a natural way of learning. And suddenly you are, wow, now I can understand what people are saying to me and I can hear, you know, you know, videos and understand, you know, in, you know, songs and, and these sorts of things. So it's exciting. It, it's really, really is exciting moment when that happens, because now, you know, you are progressing at full speed. So, but um, look, this is Nick from Advanced Skill Training in Cebu. And um, if you have any questions, then uh, let me know. And, uh, you know, if you like these uh, videos, then uh, please like it, share it, and uh, subscribe so you can get them all, get the little bell to ting, tinkle there. So uh, every time I make a video, it comes to you automatically. All right. But it's been a pleasure sharing to you, sharing with you. Um, some more information about why learning English and, and English teaching in the Philippines, okay? So thank you very much for, um, for your time and enjoy, enjoy yourself. Bye for now.